Welcome to King Worldwide. My name is Lisa. This is my dad, Roy. Hello, everybody. Today's topic <clears throat> is Satan's biggest weapon. Why are we talking about Satan? Well, he's defeated. However, if we don't take our authority and understand how the enemy works, then we'll be eaten. Our lunch will be eaten, basically. So, listen to Roy. And, he, and he's roaming around. So, we're going <clears> to <throat> we're gonna give you a solution when he attacks you. Jesus paid for and put and put away everything we will ever need until he returns. You can look at that at 2 Peter 1, 3. It's already done. God is not expecting us to enter into Jesus' finished. God is now expecting us to enter into Jesus' finished works by faith. This is called rest. The rest of God promised in Hebrews in this first verse here. There's three verses, correct? Correct. Okay, Hebrews 1, 4. Hebrews <laughs> chapter 4. This is going to be good. Verses 1, 10, and 11. And the, these are from the New Living <clears throat> Translation. For all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labors, just as God did after creating the world. For all who have entered into God's rest, I know it's repeating, but that was 1, this is 10. Verse 1, verses 10. God's rest have rested from their labors just as God did after creating the world. So let us do our best to enter that rest. But if we disobey God as the people of Israel did, we will fall. You know, some translations say labor into his rest. Kind of like an oxymoron. Right, labor, labor to enter into his, his rest. rest. But what it's saying is that get work hard to get into his word and the more you get into his word and understand that Jesus has finished all the works, then therefore we can just rest. Yes, we, but it takes it takes some time. Oh, I mean, it ta oh, I it know. Takes work to enter the rest, but and then you, and you have to continue doing it too. Yes, practice. Yeah. So uh, our job as covenant believers is to enter into his rest. And bring forth what Jesus has already provided. And so, but Jesus is the one that brings it. So we enter the rest, and then from that, the gates of the blessing are open. Correct. So we don't really have to make. No, we don't make. We don't it. bring anything forth. We we just rest and believe. That's yes. what we do. We really receive. Yes. You know, and it's it's not in life. It's not making things happen or toil to get things happen or achieving mm. is really receiving. Yes. That's really what rest means. Sometimes, however, obstacles surface that inhibit us resting. How well I know. Try to, right. Obstacles surface. They don't try. They do for, for me. In when the we past. let them, but well, yes, they, they're always going to be trying, right? Obstacles surface that inhibit us resting in the finished works of Jesus. We must always remember that Satan is the god of this world, this natural world, and has jurisdiction over all our thoughts, words, and actions that are contrary to God's word. Until we take authority over it. Right. And so the more we're in God's word, the easier it is to differentiate the words that we hear in society from people, whether they're in accordance with God's word or contrary to God's word. The less we're in the Word, all words seem the same. And, and I think that's true for everybody until they get into the Word so they can differentiate that. Now, here, here's a verse, one of my favorites really as far as uh, identifying who the enemy is. James 3.16, the New King James Version, for where envy and self-seeking exist. Confusion. I like, I like that. Yeah, that's what New King James says. Where envy and self-seeking exist. Confusion and every evil thing are there. Self-seeking, doing, focusing on things for ourselves, as compared to putting our focus on other people and in helping them. These obstacles to resting most often come from Satan's biggest weapon. What is his biggest weapon? Division. His biggest weapon is the spirit of division, and. We touched on that on a couple of broadcasts back just a little bit, but here, here's a little bit more relative to it. 
this spirit of division surfaces in discontent or ill will between examples between husband and wife, father and daughter, <laughs> so uh, and, father and daughter, and uh, mother and son. That's for for example. That's I mean it happens anywhere. Uh, the uh, or discord, the discontent and ill will is really the definition of envy. Discord, bitter conflict, and quarrel is the definition of strife. strife. It's mm -hmm. a more bolder type thing. So, uh, so, or discord, and that it talks about strife, or discord between examples, boss and subordinate, coworkers, just people. I mean, neighbors, it doesn't make it who it is, just people. It might be somebody driving in front of you, and uh, you get all bent out of shape because they cut in front of you. And uh, so that's, that, the point is, that's Satan's MO as far as creating a division, let's say, between me and another person. That's his MO. Pushing the hot buttons yeah. and trying to get your and, weakness. And he, he's trying to do that because if he, if he can get us, he, if he can get me, say me, and if me, he can right. get me. Mad with me. Or in discord yeah, it, with me. In discord with somebody else, then therefore I have opened the door for him to penetrate into me. And and if it continues it, without stopping, yeah, blocks then the therefore way. it can be it can be kind of nasty down the road. However, is that these conflicts can derail our intention of our journey in resting in Jesus mm -hmm. finished works for I know from personal experience <laughs> how that can be done. All right, now, here's how we employ the counterattack. Here, here's the solution. So this is what you really want to pay attention to, is that, one, you be aware of it. You be, be aware that division is taking place. Oftentimes, people are creating division, and they don't really know mm -hmm. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's a natural thing that they're doing, as far as creating, talking of talking to somebody about somebody else and creating division, and that person they're talking to doesn't have any idea that they're creating division, and it it's really, uh, I mean, big seeds are planted there, and unless, unless you repent, taking, less well, let's become aware of it yeah. and then repent. But here's the counterattack, and it's called the prayer of agreement. Yes, and here's the verse that tells us about it. So Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20 from the New King James Version. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, Jesus says, I am there in the midst of them. Okay, let's simplify that. Jesus said if any two of us would agree concerning anything we ask, he says, my Father in heaven will do it for you or me. To me, that that's a pretty good verse. It's Be huge. Because what it does is that it gives, uh, it gives everybody a solution to any challenge that comes up in their life. Yes. You know, and I heard a great man of God say at one time that, that God told him, he says, I'll be your two. <laughs> so therefore, God will be your two. And you got you and God, that's two. Or you can have you and a friend, spouse, family, children, whatnot, to be your two. And and if you if if you really stand on that prayer of agreement and you make reference to what you're talking about, what you're asking for. And then believe and expect that God will do it for you. Yeah, like we settled that on such and such date, according to Matthew 18, 19, and 20. That's it. We don't need to be doubting. And, and it ties in with uh, 1 John 5, 14, 15, mm -hmm. is that when, when we pray and say, thank you, Father, for hearing us. Mm -hmm. I know you heard us because I spoke in accordance with your word. Mm -hmm. That's part of prayer and agreement. And since you heard us, I know 
that you will grant the petition that I presented mm -hmm. to you. So that's the second verse that will that will go ahead and give you some ammo that when stuff comes up, remember, we're in control if we use what we have. Glory. So, Thank have you. a great so day. So good, Dad. Thank you. See y'all.